For those who just joined, all right, so we have Sherry and Gordon, Julian, and Joy. Uh, by the way, who is iPhone? Send a message here in the group chat your name so that I can check your um, attendance. All right, so I'll start. So we have five students right now. So we'll start. So for those who just uh, joined, you can uh, review with us. Okay, so where is the other? We only have four players. Joy, Mary. Where's Gordon? All right, so let's. All right, so let's start. Okay, so this is all about cellular respiration and we'll start. First question, it is the process that releases energy by breaking down glucose and other food molecules in the presence of oxygen. Again, it is the process that releases energy by breaking down glucose and other food molecules in the presence of oxygen. Is it photosynthesis? Is it oxidation? Is it digestion? Or is it cellular respiration? Again, the process that releases energy by breaking down glucose and other food molecules in the presence of oxygen. The correct answer is cellular respiration. All right, and Mary leading with 798 points. So cellular respiration is, okay, no need for you to answer this. Cellular respiration, this is a metabolic pathway that breaks down glucose and produces ATP. So like what I mentioned to you a while ago. Sorry. Okay, so the stages of cellular respiration include, here you can see here, you can see here gly glycolysis, okay? And there is pyruvate oxidation, citric acid, or Krebs cycle or the TCA and oxidative phosphorylation, okay? So this, we need, uh, we're not gonna discuss about pyruvate oxidation, we're not gonna discuss about the TCA or the tricyclic acid cycle or the Krebs cycle and the oxidative phosphorylation, okay? So this will be further discussed when you go to grade nine. So for now, we are discussing all about glycolysis, anaerobic respiration and aerobic respiration. All right, next question. Question number three, what is the breakdown of glucose by enzymes releasing energy and pyruvic acid cold? Again, what is the breakdown of glucose by enzymes releasing energy and pyruvic acid cold? Is it glycogenation, glycogenesis, glycolysis, or glycolysis? All right. And the correct answer is, glycolysis. They too got the correct answer. So Mary is still leading with 1728 points. So again, glycolysis is, this is a glucose. 
six carbon sugar, remember your C6H12O6, undergoes a series of chemical transformations. In the end, it gets converted into two, again, two molecules of pyruvate, a three carbon organic molecule, right? So that is glycolysis. Okay, question number five. What is the end product of glycolysis? Is it four molecules of pyruvate, six molecules of pyruvate, eight molecules of pyruvate, or two molecules of pyruvate? So the correct answer is two molecules of pyruvate. Three got the correct answer, and Mary is leading with 2,803 points. So pyruvate, again, this is an important molecule that is present at multiple biochemical pathways. It is commonly encountered as one of the end products of glycolysis, which is then transported to the mitochondria for participating the citric acid cycle. So this is just one of the end products of glycolysis because again, glycolysis also produce two ATP molecules. Okay. Question number seven, respiration that requires oxygen is called, is it reduction? Is it anaerobic respiration? Is it oxidation or is it aerobic respiration? The correct answer is aerobic respiration. So respiration that requires oxygen is called, is called aerobic respiration. Okay. So Mary's still leading with four correct answers in a row. So again, aerobic respiration is uh, aerobic respiration, it takes place in the mitochondria. Okay, and requires oxygen and glucose and produces carbon dioxide, water, and energy. So this is your this is your aerobic respiration, and this is your anaerobic respiration. Next question, number nine. Respiration that does not require oxygen is called is it reduction? Is it anaerobic respiration? Is it oxidation or is it aerobic respiration? The correct answer is anaerobic respiration. Okay, so Mary's still leading. Okay, anaerobic respiration produces less energy and does not require oxygen. It takes place in the cell cytoplasm and again, it produces lactic acid. This is useful in tissues which have a high energy demand, such as in working muscles. Question number 11, is this true or false? The image shows the process of cellular respiration. Okay, the correct answer is false. Okay, I think it was. And last question, which of the following statements is true? Slower metabolism requires more energy. Faster metabolism requires less energy. Faster metabolism requires few calories. Or slower metabolism requires few calories. All right, so the correct answer is slower metabolism requires few calories. All right, so that ends our review or our um, recap of what we discussed today. And all right, so Mary. Okay, so that ends our recap for this afternoon.
so again, this uh, this Kahoot is just a review for us. Okay, it's a, a recap of what we discussed. Okay, so if you are able to understand or if you're able to grasp, okay, uh, whatever we discussed here in the uh, in uh, in Zoom. Okay, so there's a question, teacher, for making the infographic, should I include the four questions in the infographic? The one is that to talk about with parents. Yes. Okay. So you you uh, you include the question or you include the answers, okay? So you include the answers that you or the, the the one that you research, okay? So the one that you research, you include that, and uh, you include that in your infographics, right? Okay. So do you still have any other questions? regarding the uh, activities and the tasks that you need to accomplish. Uh -huh. I'm checking on the activities. Class is grade nine, uh, sorry, grade eight. So for this one, so for the infographics, So for the infographics, okay, so you have to answer the four questions. So this should be included in your infographics, of course, okay? So um, the, the task about the sports supplement. So this should be the one included in your infographics, okay, the four questions. Now, you uh, so that, you know, when you discuss it with your family members or when you discuss it with your parents, okay, Um, you might, you know, have some info with them, uh, with some from them as well. Okay, you can have, you know, your discussion since you don't have your classmates with you, you don't have your teachers with you, so you can discuss this with your family members. All right. So that's it for this morning, grade uh, eight. And I'll see you again next week. If again, if you have any questions um, with regards to the task that you need to accomplish, just message me in Edmodo, and um, um, and that's it. All right. So have a great day, everyone, and stay curious and have fun learning. Okay. I'll see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>